services of a singular individual. Welcome to the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I'm waiting to be oppressed. The greatest adventurer who ever lived has been recruited to find a madman. He's called the Phantom. To stop him, you must lead a team like nothing the world has seen. has arrived. You have four days. And the game is on. So what are we dealing with? Unstoppable assassins. Eyes open, boy. Can't protect you all the time. That is destructible! The century fox invites you. Take the world! To discover an adventure. I don't know how to drive this thing! In a league of its own. Don't measure danger the way I do. That was naughty. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen is an action adventure fantasy movie that was released on July 11th, 2003, and is based on a graphic novel by. Alan Moore and Kevin O'Neill. Um, what do I think about this movie? Well, let's find out. Let's start with the story. Okay. The story follows Europe in absolute peril because of a villain named the Phantom who is wreaking havoc everywhere he goes. Because of this, a man named M goes to Africa to, to ask Let's get adventurer Alan Quartermain. He is from the 1885 novel King Solomon's Mines. He asks him for help to stop them. Him. Quartermain refuses until his home gets attacked by a bunch of henchmen that are working for the Phantom. They go back to Europe, and he is asked to lead a team, team of 19th century Victorian era literature characters, much like himself. You got Captain Nemo from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. You got Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You got um, Nina from Dracula, I believe, the Invisible Man, Dorian Gray, and even Tom Sawyer. So yeah, that's the story. Without spoiling it, obviously. The story is actually really good. Um, it is very imaginative. It is it is loads of fun. And it has great writing and great characters overall. Um, and, and Tom Sawyer is a nice addition to, addition to the movie. He, I have read the graphic novel. He isn't in the graphic novel. But he is a good. He isn't. He actually isn't a bad addition to the, to the mix, to the team. Um. But yeah, yeah. Quartermain, base. Quartermain, all the other characters are good too. Quartermain, Alan Quartermain is played by Sean Connery, who's always good. And uh. And uh, I just really like the story. It's it's very, it's very, it's loads of fun. Um, but don't expect it to be like Oscar worthy. If you're just expecting it, expecting it to be a good time, just be casual, casual, and you might actually enjoy it. But, um, not every movie has, to, not every story has to be Oscar worthy. In my mind. The action scenes are also very good. Um, the uh, there is it is very satisfying. There are plenty of guns, explosions, punches, kicks, 
monsters, finding monsters. What's not to like? And uh, the action scenes are um, also well filmed, choreographed, and edited. And uh, they are loads of fun. Okay, as for the production values, um, the music and sound effects, and I guess maybe a little bit of the editing, is pretty standard. But where the movie really shines is the art direction and uh, uh, site decoration and even the cinematography. Because of those three factors, it does a good, good job of mixing 19th century rooms, like rooms with books and stuff, and um, 21st, 20, 20th century technology like cars and boats. Anyways, it really feels like you're in a alternate universe. It really feels like an old, it really looks like an alternate universe. That's from someone's amazing imagination. And the visual effects, while brief, the visual effects, which mainly consist of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and the monster that comes at the end, are also pretty well done. The only problem that I do have with the movie is the ending. Now, I want to make this review as spoiler-free as possible, so I'm going to try and get around, around explaining the ending. I'm going to try and get around the spoilers. So, okay, now, this ending would have been good if they explained, if it was explained more. Um, um, I felt that, that a lot, many of the things that happen in the end do not make any sense. And, and, and uh, they're hardly explained at all. Oh, um, 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 and, and the rest of the movie is actually pretty, pretty straightforward, and they just kind of drop the ball with the ending. And if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, there are worse endings out there, but they could have ended it so much better than they did. Just maybe even add a, a few minutes to it, and it would have been good. But that is my only glaring flaw with the with the movie. Um, other than that, overall, I think it's an awesome movie. It has great story. It has a great story. It has awesome writing. Awesome characters. Awesome action scenes. Pretty good, good production values for the most part. Mainly the art direction and set decoration and cinematography. And maybe the visual effects. But, and uh, the only flaw that I really have with the movie is the ending. Ending. But overall, I, oh, this is an awesome movie. It is one entertaining in, in, action movie and uh and uh it's probably one of the mo one of my most underrated movies one of the most underrated movies i've seen in years if you haven't seen this movie i highly recommend it and if you'll pro and just re remember just kind of be casual with it. Have fun. With it. And, it, and you will definitely enjoy it. Overall, I give Bleeding Extraordinary Gentleman a 4 out of 5 with the title of Awesome. This is Spike Robot. Thank you all for watching. And see you next time. Take it easy.